Greg, one of the wonders of this world is the remarkable capacity of mathematics to describe not just uh, theoretical things, but the way the world really works. And many famous physicists have expressed great wonder and astonishment at this, that symbols on paper that represent sort of abstract things can truly describe reality. How do you see that? Let me tell a little story. Once upon a time, there was a primate that had learned that if you take a sharp stick or a rock, you can kill beasts for food and so forth. And then he realized that you could throw the rock or the spear. Uh, but when he threw it, it was a very complicated kind of curve, and he didn't often hit the game. That primate's not in our genes. The primate who said, wow, that's a beautiful curve, uh, later called the parabola, <laughs> That primate is in our genes. And that's my way of saying mathematics applies to the universe because mathematics comes out of the universe by natural selection. We, uh, we have built in processing power that looks at the world and processes it so that, as I, I used to play football, you, you run downfield and you can tell just glancing over your shoulder that the football is moving this way and it'll hit over there. And you process it just like that. Yeah. That's an incredible calculation ability, which we still can't do in an actual computer. Right. Uh, great engineering, courtesy of Charles Darwin. And that's why so much of our innate sense of mathematics reflects the reality of the world, because it's not separated. It came out of somewhere. It was not installed by somebody from above, but rather emerged out of evolution. Well, s s some people would say Darwin may have discovered it, but it was courtesy of the big guy, not a courtesy of Darwin. <laughs> but Fine. given that, however, <laughs> what, but what you're saying is that that parabola was not something that we invented. It was that, that there was selection for the genetic structure that could understand it was a parabola. But the parabola was built into nature, and it wasn't a almost parabola. <laughs> that could almost be described by mathematics, it was inexact. That's yes. the fascination, that the exact form was in nature that certain beings could, could draw out of it. Yes, and that's why other intelligent life is going to have mathematics too, and it'll be somewhat like our mathematics. So that <laughs> means that mathematics is something that is not a human construct, it's a human discovery. Right. And so what is, if that's right, not everybody agrees with that, but if that's right, then there's something about the universe that is deeply structured in its mathematical essence as right. a foundation. Right. Mathematics is software written by the universe. And it or is the universe the expression of the mathematical software? <laughs> we, yeah, either way. Uh, is it either way? Or, or does well, one, I does think one the universe comes and, and it, the, the really deep mystery is why is, is the universe built this way? Right. It's, I, I think the reason I gave is pretty straightforward about why we can see it. Yes. There are two uh, questions, why uh, we can see it yeah. and why it's that way. Why is it that way? Um, I like Einstein's idea that he wanted to find the theory it, it, that had complete closure that said, this is the only way you can build a universe. Yeah, if, if that's the case. <laughs> yeah, well, that's still the goal. Uh, I don't know why the universe has to be this way, or if it does, uh, but th the fact that it's mathematical just means that mathematics is the substrate of reality. <laughs> that, to me, is not something that is a lo is logically necessary. You could you could design a universe. I'm sure you you could do it very easily in your novels that didn't have that capacity. It could be completely incomprehensible and undiscoverable, and the mathematics could fool you. They could be they could every every equation be almost, but it could lead you in the wrong direction. I, I think that's very easy to do. Yes, there, there's no doesn't seem to be any logical necessity for one to absolutely mm. map the other. In that confusing universe, 
we wouldn't make it. Yeah, that's we, right. We wouldn't be having this conversation. That's correct. That is correct. <laughs> uh, something else would. Uh, but this is the one we're in. Yeah. Uh, so we uh, can only think in those terms. The interesting question is, as Einstein said, did God have any choice when he made the universe? Is, can you do it with a different kind of mathematics? Uh, or or uh, it's unthinkable to us, or to me anyway, to, since I've done a lot of mathematical physics, that you could build a universe without mathematical law because, you know, what mathematics really says is there are laws and here's how they work. Imagine a universe that doesn't have laws. How would it work? I mean, it's a contradiction. Yeah. Uh, so that, I think, is beyond our conceptual horizon. But the fact that the laws are so describable in mathematical terms still gnaws at me as, as indicative of something more than I can say. And I become speechless in being able to describe it, and it frustrates me. Well, I, I once thought as an undergraduate that, that uh, the, um, the mathematics that I couldn't quite understand was the universe's way of telling me that there were people smarter than I was <laughs> and that maybe the universe is smarter than all of us. <laughs> well, I think we've, we've all gone through that. Uh, and I think that's a, that's a, it's, that's a good lesson to learn. Mm -hmm. uh, humility is, is one of the, the best qualities that human beings have when, when they have it. Uh, but nonetheless, the fundamental problem remains sitting there, yeah. and nobody mm -hmm. can really go beyond that other than to say that it's, that's the way it is, that mathematics is and sits at the foundation of reality. Uh, or the, the easiest out is to say, this is a clear proof that God is a mathematician. I think there would be a lot of people who would, who would take that. And, and I, I, think, I think what you can say for sure is this, see if you agree. That if there is a God, then that God must be a, a mathematician. Yes. I mean, you can say that with certainty. Right. Even though the, we don't call the Department of Mathematics the Department of Theology, <laughs> uh, I think almost everyone believes uh, in the sciences that, that mathematics is so deep that you can't separate it from the idea of the universe itself. Well, then maybe we should call departments of theology the departments of mathematical theology. <laughs> yes. And perhaps we can even find some experiments we could do. <laughs>